Monday, January 29th, and we have two teams that went at it differently yesterday to show why they are the best teams in the NFL. I got it wrong. Let's talk about it right now. Like boxing, when it was in its prime, before they started all the big matches around midnight and made a pay-per-view so young kids couldn't watch it, people couldn't embrace it, and move on, you would see different styles of boxers go out there and make things happen in different ways and get into people's heads, in some cases, or just wait around for a team to make a mistake. First, Chiefs, Ravens. Let's talk about that game. I think the best player in the NFL, Lamar Jackson, ended up coming up small. Why? Much like Muhammad Ali did to George Foreman in the title bout, got in his head. The Chiefs got into the head of the Ravens, and I'm sorry, Lamar Jackson as well, but making him second guess. Throw balls a little deep. Defenders playing within the margins, slowing down the receivers just enough to make Lamar Jackson overthrow, overthrow. A couple of times when he could use his feet, he stayed back. And once you start to let doubt get into your head, the Ravens were done. The Chiefs move on. Those who didn't think, including myself this year, think that they'd get back to the Super Bowl were wrong. The Chiefs move on better coached, an overall better team. You can say what you want. It's not with this Taylor Swift stuff and whatever, but um, Kelsey, an unbelievable player. Kelso, I'm sorry. And um, the Chiefs move on. They're in the Super Bowl. What happened in the second game was different. Campbell, what are you doing, first of all? Stop with the nonsense that you want to be the riverboat gambler. Don't give up points like you did. You lost by three. You think somewhere along the line you could have had those three points somewhere? I do. What happened there? The 49ers taking that assault that you gave them in the first half, making some of those cold kids, halftime adjustments. We love those things, don't we? Coming back and systematically just taking the game from you. Take Lions. You had the game. And it wasn't so much that you gave it up. The 49ers took it from you. Goff, you were this close and, and not your fault. But you know what? You're the leader of the team. Stuff rolls from the top. Right and rolls down. Campbell, Goff, a little short. Campbell, I don't know what you're thinking. You're a good coach, a very good coach. Hopefully you'll learn from this. But the two best teams did in two different ways. One, a boxer who gets it to somebody's head and just makes them worried about and lack, lack confidence and just systematically beat them on points, the better boxer. And in the second game, the 49ers, you took their best shot and they still came. So that Rocky style, right? Still came, still came, still came. Knocked you out late, Lions, literally. Chiefs and the 49ers go to the Super Bowl let the conspiracy stupid nonsense begin. Monday, January 29th, and we have two teams that went at it differently yesterday 